At the end of 2020, it was reported that Tyga's most recent real estate move was a property in Indio, California. The rapper's retreat is located in the water sports community of Shadow Lake Estates and boasts a main residence spanning 6,000 square feet and plenty of other amenities. The calm neighborhood would be quite the switch for Tyga, considering he was famously renting a Bel Air mega mansion for a whopping 58k per month just before this. Well, check out where the rapper calls home and you guys can decide which estate is the nicest. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Tyga is a rapper who had been signed to Young Money Entertainment back in 2008, releasing plenty of hit tunes over the years. He has an estimated net worth of $5 million or more, but he also loves to spend it on fancy things like cars and mansions. While Tyga reportedly had to give up his $2.2 million Maybach last year, he still maintains a plush home on the water to live in. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out where rapper Tyga calls home. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. In fall of 2020, it was reported that Tyga was moving to the desert, paying $3.9 million for a home on the water in Shadow Lake Estates. While the home could have been purchased for a family member, it seems that since the rapper was renting prior to this, we can assume it's for him. The residence covers three quarters of an acre of land in the exclusive neighborhood, which is a water sports community located in Indio, California. It's a far cry from Tyga's last home in Bel Air, as Indio is a much quieter city way out in the Coachella Valley, about 20 miles from Palm Springs. Built in 2018, Tyga's new abode clocks in at 6,000 square feet of space with four bedrooms and 5.5 baths across a single level. Walking up to the home, there's a gated courtyard and a grassy lawn, and the place has a resort villa vibe on the exterior. The open floor plan is full of chandeliers and exposed wood beams, along with high ceilings, and then there's a spacious combined living area. This is made up of a living room on one end with exposed brick wall, fireplace, and TV, combined with a chef's kitchen. All of this opens through glass sliders to a poolside terrace, while Tyga's new kitchen boasts a U-shaped island with bar seats to grab a bite. Towards the back of this massive room, there's a dining room clad in windows with a wall of wine storage as well. In fact, Tyga's entire home boasts glass pocket doors to take advantage of the surroundings, whether you're in the family room, master suite, or office. Every space opens to the yard where you can easily jump in the refreshing pool or walk a bit further down to the sandy beach and boat dock. If Tyga feels like getting some work done, there's a home office for that, and elsewhere there's a cozier den with another TV. The master bath looks like something from a movie, with doors out to the courtyard and a soaking tub right in the center. The classy space also has double vanities and a spa-like feel. Meanwhile, Tyga's master retreat here has high beam ceilings and a full wall of glass sliders to a private waterfront terrace. One of my fave spots at this house is definitely the covered patio, which consists of a lounge area with outdoor fireplace and flat screen TV, as well as a large table to dine al fresco. And if it rains, which is rare in the desert, the whole space is sheltered. There are also ceiling fans so the desert heat doesn't melt you. And in the case that it does, you can simply go take a dip in the rapper's new swimming pool and spa, all of which overlooks the water and mountains in the distance. Of course, this Indio Escape also has private beach access and the grassy lawns lead you right down to the water's edge. In 2019, it was reported that Tyga was living it up in a pricey rental mansion, dishing out a whopping $58,000 per month for the home. The Hillside Estate was located in the exclusive neighborhood of Bel Air, Los Angeles, in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains, and it boasted amazing views from every angle at the property. Tyga's mansion sat on two acres of land and was built only a year before he moved in, featuring all the modern creature comforts and then some. This is the last spot that we know of the rapper living at aside from the Indio abode he just purchased, and with those monthly bills, you know he must have loved the home. The sprawling mansion spans over 14,500 square feet of space spread over three levels with six bedrooms and eight bathrooms. Not to mention Tyga's master suite was fit for a king, offering up dual bathrooms and a lounge with sloped ceilings. If that's not enough, his retreat had a massive wardrobe area and walk-in closet for his designer duds and kicks. 
The entire Bel Air residence has high ceilings, some of which are even 18 feet, giving the mansion an open and expansive feel. I'm gonna guess that your voice echoes the second you walk in this place. Other touches include many windows and French doors for natural lights, as well as pristine hardwood flooring throughout. The main living room boasts a wall of built-ins while the kitchen was decked out in marble, also with a breakfast nook, island with bar seats, and stainless appliances. Elsewhere, there's a communal space, which seems Taiga's turned into an impressive games room with pool table and funky art. And of course, there's a home gym. The Bel Air property also has plenty of driveway and garage space for the rapper's collection of luxury sports cars. You know, minus that Maybach he had to give up. The grounds also featured plenty of amenities, including a 1,200 square foot guest house and a massive 70 foot swimming pool with attached spa. There was plenty of room to entertain with views of the hills, considering there were terraces off of all of the mansion, some opened and some shaded. Rewind back to before this house way back in 2015 and Tyga was already doing it big with his luxury rentals. I mean, it may not have cost 58K per month, but it wasn't far off as he was leasing this crib for a rumored $46,000. Located in Hollywood Hills right above the Sunset Strip, this former spot the rapper lived at screamed party pack. The mansion offered 12,800 square feet of living space with six bedrooms and 4.5 baths, which is plenty of space to impress and entertain. The design was contemporary with plenty of walls of glass and stainless steel touches throughout. Not to mention the exterior of his former mansion was also uber modern, boasting a statue of Predator guarding the front doors. Hey, I kind of like that feature. According to listing materials, the pad was fully renovated and was equipped with all the luxe features. Inside, there were plenty of upscale living spaces to choose from, including a gourmet kitchen with top-notch appliances, dining room, and an office. Other bonuses included a full bar, wine cellar, home gym, and a rooftop jacuzzi. Tyga's master suite in this place was also bragworthy. Not only did it have two walk-in closets designed to be his and hers, it had an additional shoe closet too. It was even more exciting thanks to the master bath, which had a steam room, infinity bathtub with jets, and a balcony. Moving to the grounds of the property, the outdoor spaces boasted a gorgeous pool with a spa and waterfall, and plenty of terraces to entertain. All right, so now we've checked out the homes of Taiga, so I think that concludes this video. We saw his newest purchase out in the California desert and where he's reportedly living now, as well as two of his luxury rental mansions. Out of all three homes, which was your favorite? For me, it's hard to choose, but I think the Beller one was a little too extra. I like how his new property is on the water, and I think I even like the Sunset Strip house more than the Bel Air one. Be sure to let me know your pick down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!